Hey everyone, welcome back to another Adobe XD tutorial. Today we're gonna check out how to make these hover transitions in XD on any website or application. And uh, we'll also check out how to create multiple interactions. Like if I click on this card, it'll expand to all four of these cards and it'll expand to a single image like this. We also have some information on the right. So without further ado, let's just get started with the tutorial. Now we will start off by creating a basic artboard, a 1920 by 1080 artboard. Once you have the artboard set up, go to appearance and under appearance, you will find this fill option, click on this. And I've already saved this sepia color that we'll use as a background color for this artboard. Uh, now the next step is I will just copy over this component that I've created, which is essentially the navigation and we'll we're gonna leave it just like that. And for the sake of this design, I will ungroup this, Command Shift G or Control Shift G to ungroup everything. Now the next task is to cr start creating the cards. So from the left edge here, I will create a tall card just like this. And I'm not choosing any specific height, but uh, you can use a certain grid if you want. And for this, I will place it somewhere in the center. Make sure that it is about 56 pixels from this top navigation here, perfect. And I will duplicate these to make a make four duplications. What I'll do is I'll use repeat grid and um, I will drag this handle out to the right. Now we have four rectangles like this, uh, which I will space out equally so that they are, they are uh, covered from the left end to the right end here. By the way, I will also be uh, telling you how to convert this to code at the end of the video too. So make sure that you watch the whole video. So I will ungroup this grid right here. And now we have four evenly spread out cards. I will select all four of these, remove the border from the right panel here. And for the next step, what I'll do is go to this uh, add option on top here and click on add. Now, essentially all these cards are now a union, which means that they are now one single element. Now for this project, I have already downloaded uh, a couple of images from my trusty source, which is unsplash.com. This is a little tribute to Birmingham Museum's uh, art gallery. And all I need to do is drag one of these images from my downloads folder onto these cards. These cards will turn blue. I'll just leave it onto there. And as you can see, the image has now automatically fit inside these uh, cards right here. Now, the next thing I'll do is create another rectangle over the first card here. Make sure that it only covers the first one. And I will select both these cards and the card on top, which is the white card and select Command Shift M or Control Shift M on Windows. This will mask this object behind it. And the next step is to actually adjust. The next step is to actually adjust this image so that it fits only in the first uh, little card here. And since I've masked this, you can't really see all the four other cards. And I'll do the same here with all the other I'll do the same here with all the other cards and I'll just shift it from one place to the other, about 70 pixels or 72 pixels, that should do. And for the second one, what I will do is select the innermost uh, layer, which is, which is the union here and just shift the union to the left so that the second card is covering the second part of the union. Perfect. Now for this one, what I'll do is go to this union, make sure that this union four has been selected, go back to my downloads and just drag the second image into this space. Now it will replace the first image and I will also double click and edit this image so that it fits in the second block, just like the first one. Don't worry about the spacing since it's been covered by a mask already. Perfect. I will do the same for all, all two of the other cards as well. Now that I have placed all the images inside my cards and masks, uh, the next thing is to create the overlays for this. So each, each mask will have a colored overlay, which will go like this. I will create a rectangle, 
I've removed the border from that rectangle and I've conveniently saved all the colors that I need here. I will select the first color, which is this uh, very bright blue color. I'll go to the appearance panel here and click on blend modes here. And once I've put this on, if I go to appearance panel and I click on the blend mode drop down here, I will go to the lighten option here. The brightness of the image has increased and it's sort of blended in with the color as well. I will do the same for all four of these and I will just conveniently change the color from the left panel here. These asset panels are amazing. I will be linking the XD file below so that you get all these assets with it. For this last one, we might have to edit this a little bit. Now to highlight these people's eyes, since a lot of focus has been given to where the subjects are looking or how they are feeling. To view their eyes, what I'll do is I'll create two circles, one and two. And I will basically put the bottom circle on top of the other circle and this, it should align in the middle. As you can see, this align, these circles have been aligned and these two lines have appeared. I will select both of these circles together and I will go to the top right here and click on this sub subtract icon. Now we've created this kind of uh, moon or semicircle almost shape. I will duplicate this to place them here and I will place them over these eyes of the kid and I will select both these moon shapes and also select the colored background and go to the subtract option again as you can see now I can only view the eyes and the feelings of these humans I will I will just copy these moon shapes once again so that I can see them and I'll just make, make this white of course and uh, I will also place them above this card and do the same, select everything here and go to subtract, select subtract. Now we can see the emotions of these people through these eyes. I will do this for both of the remaining cards as well. Now that I have completed uh, the task of masking this, I will select each card and select everything under it and say command K to create components. I will do this for all these components. I'll just uh, drag out and select everything in that single mask and uh, create comp individual components. Now for each element, what I will do is go to the component state here, click on this add state and select hover state. And I'll just leave it at the, the same name hover state. So while hover state is selected, what I will do is go deep inside this card and select the subtraction. And under each subtraction, I have two other subtractions, which are these moon shapes. I will drag them out and make them bigger and see how as I make them bigger, they are able to cover more area and we are, we are now viewing the image much better. Now I'll make sure that there's space for text at the bottom here, just like that. And I'll select the second subtraction and expand it as well. Just scale it up. Make sure you're not stretching it in just one direction, but scaling it. And uh, angle it in such a way that it covers the entire image. And there's no, no blue color left on top. Now this looks pretty good. Next thing I'll do is also in the hover state, place some text here. The title of this image is the blind girl. And it was created in 1856. Uh, beautiful paintings uh, by Birmingham Museums on Unsplash. And I will change the color if it's any other color to white. Make sure the spacing and everything is correct. And uh, make this 24, no, no, a little bigger, I think 32. Yeah, 32 is better. Pixels on, or 32 points on the font. And the font on the top is Gordita and font on the top, I'm gonna to change to something like, font on the top, I'll select as Cerebri Sans and make this bold. Semi-bold is the closest. And the bottom is also Cerebri Sans. And I'll make sure this is either light or regular. So light is better. As you can see, now we have the title here as well with the color in the background. Now this is just the hover state. 
if we go to prototype and we hover state is already set up for us this lightning icon means that there is something going on and hover state is hover trigger is selected i'll select auto animate um, select hover state which is our second state essentially and change the easing from ease in to ease out change the timing to 0.6 seconds and that's about it if i select this artboard click on this play icon on the top to to preview it and i hover over this see how beautiful this plays then the next step is to go back to the hover state go back to design and double click inside here until you reach union 3 press enter so that the image is in focus and i'll hold shift and just drag this image out i want to make this image much bigger perfect and you can change the size of the image later but if i go back to hover and i hover on this see how this beautifully animates into into place and it's an ease in ease out animation Now to make the big magic happen, if I come to hover state and I click on add state, I will create another third state, another third state which will continue from hover state. I'll, I'll say super expanded on this one, which means that it's expanded or I'll just say expanded, a super relief for later. And then while the expanded state is selected, I want you guys to go to the mask group inside here, uh, expand this mask group, and there's a rectangle which is covering this mask. I want you guys to just expand this and take it over the artboard. The longer it is, the, the smoother the animation will be. For the image as well, I want you guys to double click on the image and expand the image uh, till it reaches the right hand side of this, these cards. And I'm going to center this a little bit as well. And make sure that this component is at the absolute top. To do that, I'll say Command Shift and Square Bracket Right. And also ensure that this is uh, set up in such a way that it covers most of these cards in the background as well. Now everything is set up. We can try, the, we can go back to Hover State and go to Prototype. In Hover State, I will click on this plus icon right next to this interaction and I'll click on tap. So the tap trigger is now on. I'll choose the destination as expanded, ease and out 0.6 seconds, perfect. I'll go back to default state, play this prototype. If I hover over this, the animations are still intact. If I click on this, see how this spreads out and now it stays on this state. It looks beautiful. For the last step, what we'll do is I will go to this expanded and while expanded is selected, I'll click on plus. Now a new state is created and I'll call this super expanded, finally. And if I go back to design, I will, in the super expanded state, change certain dimensions. First of all, I'll go to the union, expand the union and each rectangle will now be full width and full height so that it covers the entire or in the entirety of the artboard here. I will expand it just like this, perfect. Now that all four of the rectangles are expanded, I'll go to the mask group on top and also expand this rectangle so that it fills the entirety of this artboard. Just fill the artboard completely. There's, just be shameless with it. Now that the image is expanded, let's go back to default state. Actually go back to expanded, go to prototype. And while expanded is selected, I want you guys to click on this plus icon. And from here, tap trigger should be on. Auto animate. And for the state, I'll select super expanded. Ease in out. And for this one, I'll say 0.4 seconds. I'll go back to default state and I'll play the prototype. If I hover over this, beautiful animation. If I click, it'll expand. And for super expanded, if I click again, ooh, see how this super expands? I can change the timing later, but it's all up to you.
I hope you liked that video. That was a short tutorial. I make such tutorials every Monday and Thursday. I also have a lot of other series that I do. So do check out my channel. Also support me by subscribing and clicking that bell icon right next to it. I hope you like this one. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.